Imagine an ocean consisting entirely of gold coins, near which you are lying on a lounger made of dollar bills. Only someone like Scrooge McDuck could really afford such a thing. Well, him and Jeff Bezos. In 2013, Forbes estimated the net worth of the richest dude on the planet to be about $65.4 billion. But this is just a tiny drop in the ocean of the total amount of money in the world. As you may remember, the Disney character's bank vault was pretty big. So, what will happen if you collect all the money in the world in one place? How much space would it occupy, and what would be its mass? Let's figure it out. To turn every last cent into real physical money, we may need as much as an entire continent to hold it all. The fact is, most standard valuables such as banknotes, coins, and bank account deposits make up only a tiny part of all the money that exists. And when I say a tiny part, I mean about $5 trillion. The overwhelmingly vast majority of modern wealth is stored electronically or as securities. Let's start with our little baby currency Bitcoin. After all the recent volatility of Bitcoin's exchange rate, the total value of the digital currency has now settled at roughly $5 billion. That's nothing compared to, for example, all the silver used in the entire world, which comes in at about $14 billion. Jeff Bezos, for those of you who don't know, is the richest man on the planet. To overtake his total net worth using silver, it would be necessary to extract from the Earth about 10 times more of this valuable metal. According to Forbes, Bezos now has at his disposal about $139 billion. This founder of uber-successful online retailer Amazon.com can be envied somewhat for his riches, as he can buy literally anything he wants. Except for Apple Incorporated, you may have heard of them. Amazon is now the second most valuable company in the world. Both companies recently achieved a total market capitalization of over $1 trillion, though they have both fallen back a bit since then. With growth rates like this, these two giants of Silicon Valley may soon become more valuable than gold itself, in that the total value of the precious yellow metal in the world comes to slightly less than $8 trillion. We shall see. But even an amount this large, the value of all the gold in the world pales in comparison to the total value of all the shares of stock on the world market. If you join the club and become another Wolf of Wall Street, and somehow manage to collect it all, you will become the proud owner of approximately $70 trillion in total capital. And if by some chance you manage to collect all of the IOUs for all of the world's debt, the amount you will get will be an incredible $199 trillion. But that's not all. There's also a financial security traded around the world known as derivatives, contracts for the future value of an underlying asset. This can be almost anything, from any product to even the state of the environment. It's impossible to calculate the total amount of derivatives at play in the world at the moment, but approximate calculations give a figure of several quadrillion dollars. Let's try to put into perspective the immense scale of such an amount of money. A quadrillion has 15 zeros after the first digits. To understand just how much space this capital would take, Let's calculate its approximate mass. So, a million dollars in hundred-dollar banknotes, even though you could cram it in a large briefcase or small suitcase, would weigh about 22 pounds or 10 kilograms by itself. So, don't be too quick to believe Hollywood movies where the characters run out of a bank with multi-millions loaded in bags just after robbing the joint. It's just too dang heavy to do that. To transport $4 billion, you're going to need a 40-ton cargo container. So, our entire money supply, including banknotes, coins, and bank deposits, is about $81 trillion, which would weigh more than 800,000 U.S. tons, or 1.6 billion pounds. To transport an amount that big, you're going to need a whole convoy of trucks, or perhaps several container ships. 
a hypothetical one quadrillion dollars would have a mass of 10 million tons. If you made a stack out of it, it would be tall enough to reach the moon, return back to the Earth, and then reach back up into the upper atmosphere once more. I should mention that I'm using a standard Ben Franklin $100 bill for all of my calculations. If you don't convert all this money into $100 bills, but into single dollars, then the total weight can be safely multiplied by 100. And this isn't even counting all the coins, unregistered banknotes, outdated bills, and counterfeit cash in circulation. We should be glad that our banking system is gradually moving to an electronic format. In fact, banknotes with large denominations are slowly being withdrawn from circulation. So let's assume you've managed to somehow get all the cash from all around the world and gather it in one location. Saving this money, or dealing with it in just about any way, shape, or form, is going to be a huge problem. If you throw it all into a big pile, the resulting heap of money will be about the same height as the Empire State Building. An overwhelming portion of this mound of dough will be coins, and the most common of them will be the one-cent U.S. penny. At the moment, there are about 150 billion of these coins in circulation, with a total weight of about 30,000 tons. Overall, American money will make up about 30% of your wealth, with the European Union's contribution being about 15%. The rest will come from a variety of different, slightly less popular and even exotic currencies. So, if you want to even try and spend all that cabbage, you're going to have to travel around the world, probably for the rest of your life. But if you still want to repeat Scrooge's entertaining diversion, I implore you to be careful. That many coins can be fatal. Don't believe me? Well, let's look at something kind of related that occurred way back a hundred years ago in 1919. In Boston, Massachusetts in the USA, a huge molasses storage tank burst. I know, you're thinking, molasses? Who can that hurt? But this syrupy liquid turned into a tsunami, moving at a speed of 100 miles or 60 kilometers per hour. It swept through the city, killing 21 people and sending 150 more to the hospital. This is now known as the Great Boston Molasses Disaster. And that was just molasses. Now imagine the consequences if a mountainous wave of coins moved with such stunning momentum. And don't even think about trying to protect yourself from all these shekels and sixpence by putting it behind walls. Every building needs a solid foundation the size of which is proportional to the size of the building. Given the weight of the total money supply, building something with such a foundation is well-nigh impossible. You'd have to pave over something like the entire Australian continent to build a building for your money that doesn't cause any harm. In addition to all the bills and coins of the world, we might also try and count some of our natural wealth. Romantics say that our planet has tremendous aesthetic value that cannot be valued in mere dollars and cents. Literally, it is priceless. But pragmatic scientists have begun to view things differently. They believe that by adding up the total worth of some of our environmental riches, we might then realize its true value, and so better cherish and preserve it. There's something called the BBC Earth Index. It's based on research within the framework of the United Nations Environment Program. According to this index, each useful resource has a cost based on its impact and value to the planet. So, for example, fresh water comes in at $73 trillion. The lives of everyone and the state of our economies depend on fresh water, so they value it equal to the total value of one year of world GDP. Trees and coral reefs, which form the basis of our ecosystem, are estimated at $26 trillion. Seafish and plankton that clean our oceans and feed us cost about $496 billion. Bees and other pollinating insects, the foundation of agriculture, receive a price tag of $170 billion. Wetlands in the U.S. protecting the coasts from hurricanes are estimated at $23 billion. 
air national reserves, and certain types of fauna, without which the balance of nature would be disturbed, are worth hundreds of millions. However, there is another perspective of the wealth of our world. A number of scientists believe that we Earthlings are ecological bankruptors. That is, over the very short period of our existence on the planet, we have managed to spend, use up, or severely deplete almost every available resource. And yet, our planet is still quite valuable. Astrophysicists from the University of California derived a universal equation that allows one to calculate the value of celestial bodies. This formula takes into account the age, mass, and size of the planet, as well as its temperature and potential suitability for human colonization and habitation. It turns out that the value of our homeless planet Earth is only five quadrillion dollars. But our neighboring planets are far, far cheaper. Our future colony Mars is estimated at $14,000. I'd snap it up in a second at that price. And Venus has no price tag at all due to its poor climate. All of the different exoplanets found in the last three years, which NASA says are possibly suitable for human life, are also in the discount department of the planetary department store. The most Earth-like of these exoplanets, Gliese 581, is worth a measly 150,000 bucks. And KOI 326.01 is valued at $250,000. But yeah, when the astronauts get there, prices will surely double. But back to Earth. In order to continue to maintain its balance, the planet needs something real and tangible to offset previous losses. So NASA has come to the rescue. In 2022, the Intrepid Space Agency plans to launch a mission to explore Psyche 16, an asteroid located in the Jupiter region. Unlike most cosmic bodies, which consist of stone with an ice mantle, Psyche 16 is rich in metallic iron and nickel. Given the asteroid's width, which is about 124 miles or 200 kilometers, the researchers were able to get an estimate of its value. This space pebble quietly putting around the solar system has a value of as much as 10,000 quadrillion dollars. It's likely that billions of years ago, Psyche 16 was the core of an early planet, comparable in size to Mars. But due to frequent collisions with comets, it lost its rocky shell. American company Planetary Resources called this asteroid a gift from the heavens and are planning to send some special robots there to do some space mining, retrieve some of those valuable resources, and bring them back to good old Earth. On the other hand, some scientists believe that dreams of mining such space riches are in vain. The cost of launching robots may exceed all permissible limits. And in addition, even if successful, the global economy could change entirely, leaving no space for simple metallurgy. So, in the end, big riches don't always provide the endless happiness that some believe. I guess the old saying is true. Money isn't everything. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Press the bell button to be the first one to get notified about our new videos. And stay with us, because the best is yet to come.